Time to do some maintenance, get this thing oiled up, greased up, and then get it running. All right, we're filling up the bucket. You can see I upgraded the bucket here. And uh, yeah, I greased up the bottom. There's a grease drain right there and then one right here. You actually pop both off. Fill it up from down there. When it starts leaking, then you plug them both back up. Took off the cotter pin, greased up the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, shaft for the propeller and then I hit my two grease points one right there one right there there's a few other places you can lubricate on here which I'm going to take actually my sea dew xps spray and do it but I don't really need to do it right now it's more of like maintenance on some of these like joints and stuff and some of the bolts just so that they don't seize up and whatnot um but other than that yeah of course I gassed her up with uh 25 to 1 uh oil and yeah I think we should be ready to uh, start breaking her in, right? Subscribe down below. All right, so we upgraded the bucket to one that doesn't leak and using a milk cart uh, crate underneath, so that works well. Other than that, we're pretty much set up. Got the choke little pulled out. Got our little lanyard here. Um, everything's pretty much good to go, so hopefully she starts right up. Be sure to subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Yeah, that's right. You just want to hit that subscribe button right there and the notification bell. Alright, there we go. So we got water coming out, of course. That's a good thing. And you can see the propeller kind of moving down there. So now I need to let it sit and idle for like 10 minutes and then we could turn it up to like 15-20% and let it run for almost an hour. All right, we're already ready for stage two. So it's uh, put it in forward gear and run it at about 20%, it says. So yeah, 25% for like 50 minutes. So let's do it. Wow. That's not gonna work. All right, so I guess the rest of the break-in is gonna be on the water because that is not doable. All right, so there she is. Oh, we just dropped her in over there and uh, yeah, she's ready to go. So I got the chairs and stuff. We'll slap the motor on her. And I think she's gonna uh, have her maiden voyage, voyage today. What do you guys think? Leave all your comments down below. Uh, do you think we're gonna sink like the Sea-Doo did? Hopefully not. You can see that she finally started probably just a little bit of issues with the fuel and stuff since i was transporting her but it's all right and i'm sure the smoke will kind of go away in a bit although it is a two-stroke
right, so I'm in the half. I'm in the half throttle stage right now. I think my top speed has been uh, I'm just about eight miles per hour. Henkai, two stroke. Oh yeah, you already know. Six horsepower, that's right. It's got six ponies and that baby does, eh, okay. <laughs> so to be all uh, completely honest, you know what I mean? Like um, half speed, you're probably going about five miles an hour. <clears throat> Full throttle, you're probably doing more around like 12, 13 miles an hour. Maybe even 14 if you're on some like really glass water. Um, and you know adjusting the trim and stuff uh, this thing does start up pretty easy doesn't really give me any problems at all and just kind of dropped this here but let me just clip this back on there we go and uh, yeah I will say I mean there's nothing really super special about it I will say I did get this external tank the one on top works well it's very simple you just turn this to let the air out on you know what I mean and so forth and it just runs but the tank's super small so you know on a big lake like this I'm at Lake Champlain I had to, I had a little small like one gallon tank with me and I had to refill it up like twice as I'm moving around the around the water this three gallon tank no worries and i will say this machine is very good on gas i mean we went all day yesterday uh very very long trips on this thing and you could see well maybe not but uh no oh, you can kind of see it in the thing it's at least two-thirds full at least you know what i mean so we basically used one gallon all day um you know that's a lot of a lot of movement so i, I would say this thing is probably you know maybe like a gallon like a third of a gallon an hour kind of thing or maybe every 50 minutes yeah it's really pretty good so we're actually getting ready to start to go so i'll just show you what it's like to start it up after you know it's been running so it should just kind of turn right back on see that it's been a little bit so you get a smoke for a second or two but you know it's a two-stroke it's fine it'll go away and it's been running all right um you know i think overall a boat like this it'd be helpful especially being on a lake like this like having like a 12 horsepower um but you know it's got the job done so there she goes and of course i'll drop in a video of me on the water now all right this is the uh speed test at night well, it's like eight o'clock, but you know, there's still some, some light out here. And uh, it's pretty chill, as you can see. So yeah, I figured I'd try to uh, see how fast I can get her up. And you can see I got the little Speedo right there. So let's do it.
Hunter lifestyle. So, so that was pretty good. It's pretty glass out here, and without uh, changing the propeller or doing anything with the uh, with the uh, what do you call it? Hydrofoil. I was about 12 and a half miles per hour.